Welcome to the NFL Week 4 Sunday Slate video where we are bringing you coverage for every single game other than Sunday Night Football. Loaded slate, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, we're going to move on to the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. Bengals earned a big win on Monday Night Football. Absolutely needed it uh, after starting 0-2. That, that, division's, that division, man, um, all four of those teams are really making a push, so it's going to be fun to watch how that unfolds. But here they travel to face the Titans. Titans coming off a very disappointing loss to the Browns. And I'm going to let Cody go first on this one. Got to play a lot in here that I like, so go for it. Yeah, I don't know what the current number is, but I was in absolute shock when I was watching openers, and this opened at 44.5. I'm pretty sure it's down to 41.5 now, if not even lower. Um this Bengals defense uh, drastically improved. Granted, they got the benefit of taking on the Rams offensive line, which is a bottom five unit. But we all kind of knew that at least their front seven was going to be a, a, de a decent unit. And now they're going against another, I mean, not horrible offensive line. It looks like their metrics have definitely bounced a lot better than what we thought they were going to be. But, yeah, uh, they send relentless pressure. And I'm sorry, I'm still low on Ryan Tannehill. Um, I, I, when he started off bad, I thought he was at least going to bounce back. No, it hasn't been as much as I thought. And then just when you factor in that the Titans, obviously you got Derrick Henry, they're going to want to abuse the run. It, the clock's going to be constantly draining. I just have so many factors to go towards this under. And then on the other side, this Bengals offense, is it's broken. It, it's broken right now. Uh, Joe Burrow did look a lot better than what he used to, but still just he's relying on these conservative quick throws. You definitely know he does not want to run whatsoever. Um, teams are kind of allowed to really stack um, against Mixon. Um it's just it's this is gonna be an ugly one. Yeah, you mentioned that teams can stack the box against the Bengals right now. Joe Burrow was one of nine on twenty yard passes this season. Uh, he's clearly being hampered by the calf injury. Second worst yards per attempt in the league at four point seven. And Ryan Tannehill hasn't been good this year, but he's been better than Burrow. And I didn't oh, think yeah. we'd be saying that at this point in the year. But I love the Titans in this game. Uh, they have the run defense to slow down Joe Mixon for sure. They're top four in EPA and success rate on that end. And you just look at the spot, man. Like, the Bengals got the big primetime win. The Titans got blown out by an elite Browns defense. Like, I'm going to back Mike Vrabel as a home dog in this spot every single time. He's exceptional as, a, as an underdog against the spread, the best in the NFL. And I love the spot for them to bounce back and get a win here. Uh, plus two and a half, plus two, whatever the number is. I love the Titans in this game. Schwartz, any thoughts? Yeah, this is a lean for me because I'm not I'm not comfortable investing in the current state of Joe Burrow to the extent that I'm ever comfortable investing in Joe Burrow, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, this is the Bengals' thing. They just start slow, and then they get it going. Burrow is starting to look better, as Cody alluded to. It, it may not matter. There's something going on with that team that I don't love, but I think there's a difference between starting slow and being awful. I don't think the Titans are good at all. They weren't able to really put up I mean, like even against the Chargers, who have like the most broken rushing defense ever, Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, I think was 80 yards, 25 carries, 3.2 yards per carry. Like, what what is going on here? And, and they can't generate an air offense in a consistent manner. I really would like to be taking the Bengals here, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to take a road favorite. The two and a half is a really good football number, is what I was looking at when I did my research, but. I don't think this is an official one for me. I want to. I want to have a soft descent to your Titans' faith here, as I have all season. I don't think this team is serious at all. Right. I don't know what game you were watching because I thought Bro looked horrible again on Monday night. Um, I don't think he. I don't think he's looked better at all. I think he should not be playing football right now. Like I mean, it's safe to say he's looked a lot better since. I mean, Grant, I guess yeah, he threw Browns 83 defense, yards on opening day. Yeah, he looked he a lot better playing, than he was the, playing the, the season. He was playing but like I said, defense. it was also against the Browns' defense. Got to factor that yeah. in, but. I mean, he had an 8 out of 7 yards against the Rams, and he completed 56% of his passes. Like, it's, it's bad. It's really bad right now. And I'm more than comfortable fading him. I don't think he looks good at all right now. I think he should be sitting out and resting. And, yeah, I think the Titans get a home win in a great bounce-back spot after losing that Browns defense. So, give me the Titans plus 2.5 here. That'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoyed this mega preview of every Sunday slate game. Should be a fascinating uh, slate of games here. Hopefully Schwartz and I get to watch some some semblance of action at the Broncos-Bears game. Uh, should be at least interesting, to say the least. So, looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoy this, these games. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Helps us out a ton. And yeah, we really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy the games.